hello guys welcome back in last video we set up the simple things like we added the initialize the map class and then we added the tile layer and then we added to one marker and by default we open it and which is uh, here in our current development so so in this video i am going to add the scale uh, scale of the map here so let's add the scale add map scale so for that you can just simply type l dot control t r control dot scale function and you have to add to map because our variable map is here so we have to add this scale to the map variable so let's edit yeah now our scale is here so if we zoom in or zoom out it will respond accordingly so so that is the uh, smallest things that is the simple things we can include easily so if you uh, also if you want to move this scale to the other location you can simply uh, simply pass the option parameter mm, position parameter and then pass the actual bottom right you have four major uh, bottom right okay let's see now our scale is uh, situated in the bottom right corner similarly if you want to move this zoom control to the end the side you can simply do this as well so you okay here you can assign the zoom control position so we have map and then we have this zoom control zoom control method we have the uh, set position uh, method so we can write the top right here so the uh, zoom control will be moved to the right section yeah like this way so for now i'll just remove this because it looks little bit odd here so i'll move it back to the left side so yeah we implemented this uh, scale bar so next thing i want to add is the add the full browser uh, function so for that i'll add one button here button and then i'll uh, on click uh, on click uh, function and then uh, full screen view okay and then I'll write uh, view in full screen and I'll write this function uh, below so okay so let's write the full screen function here full screen map view so here is uh, we can write the javascript function so here i'll uh, write is is the uh, same name full screen view uh, actually this should be camel case this one is the standard way of writing uh, the code in JavaScript and then I can just pass the uh, actually I have to grab the map ID so our map ID equal to document dot get element by ID so that means it will grab the uh, ID of map so if I pass here map then it will grab this ID map where our map is uh, situated so actually we want to uh, full browser for this map so that's why I'm grabbing this map and then what I can do is I can just pass in this map ID we can just pass the request full screen function uh, which is the javascript standard function so 
yeah let's try now my button is here so that means i edit in the html code so i edit the button after our map view so it's appear and then if we click and it will request full screen it will uh, this one is the default function so something is wrong wrong here maybe i'll open my chrome full screen view is not defined okay that means oh i i change it here but i forgot to update here my function name so this two function is the same function same function here we call this function actually we define this function here so so let me try now close this yeah it's now working so in this way we also implemented this full view in full screen uh, function so next thing is i want to add the uh, map coordinate uh, map coordinate latitude and longitude when we hover over the map then it should be display the map actual coordinate somewhere below so for that maybe i'll add one div and i'll name it as the class name as the coordinate so yeah and after that i'll uh, add something uh, inside this coordinate section here okay maybe uh, i'll also grab the uh, jquery which help us to uh, do the javascript things easily so jquery cdn you can simply type and then go to cdnjs.library and i'll grab this jquery.min.js just copy it and then we have to assign it here just uh, below or uh, above the uh, leaflet script 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 src and we can just sorry i did not copy it or what let me copy these things and then paste it here okay now i grab this uh, jquery link and after that i'll add the uh, uh, coordinate function here map coordinate display for map coordinate uh, we have to write one simple function so for when the map is over mouse move uh, this uh, actually this is the javascript uh, event we, we activate uh, when map is mouse move means if we move the mouse over a uh, map then it will do the function so we can pass the event and then we can write log e okay let's see the event first so if we move here it will uh, throw us this event and then we have to grab this lat long and then this this particular field so for that we can just grab uh, e dot uh, lat long dot lat and e dot lat long dot lang property so so for that maybe what we can do is like we can just grab this coordinate this this one class and uh, it will it means it will select this coordinate class and then after that i can replace its html by simply okay let me use this tag and maybe la lat is a dollar percentage that means we can include the variable inside the string so it's the es6 property lat lat long lng maybe lng dot lat and then and then we can pass the lng longitude is 
dollar e dot lang dot nmz yeah. okay now just remove it and if we hover over map then the our actual coordinate will be reflect here it's the actually the it's the same div so let me show you these things so here we, we added this div coordinate class and these are the auto generated auto generated uh, numbers so by default we have nothing here if we mouse over the map then it will initiate this this mouse over uh, event and then it will give us the coordinate e dot lat long dot lat and e dot lat long dot long that means if we if i hover it then it will automatically add this yeah lat long into the coordinate field so like this way so these are the just basic things uh, so yeah i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next